So today we will be looking into the time complexity and space complexity with algorithms with respect to the Bayan Concord approach. Okay, so we will be just looking into what is divide and conquer. Then we will be dealing with the different algorithms which we have seen so far and the time and space complexities respectively. So what is divide and conquer? We have a big problem. This big problem is going to be divided into smaller, smaller, smaller problems. And uh, this, uh, these sub problems which have been divided into two halves are further divided into smaller unit. The smallest unit is being solved and it is being combined, combined and all the combined thing together is going to give the solution for the bigger problem. So that is the normal methodology or the strategy followed in divide and conquer method. Big problem divided into smaller problem and this smallest unit is being solved and these a solution for the sub problems have been combined together or conquered together in order to get the solution for the bigger problem. Okay, so normally when we divide it into smaller, smaller groups, what happens? The size of the problem is being divided into two halves. Okay, so when it becomes two, what happens? The normal n becomes n by two, and n by two. So subsequently, it's been divided in further n by four, n by four, n by four, n by four, then eight times n by eight, and everything. So all together when we just have a consolidation it's of order log n. Okay. So divide and conquer normally what happens? The bigger problems uh, divided into smaller problems. That is the bigger n size is being divided into two halves and that further. So we have the order log n. So now looking at that with that idea, let us get into the algorithm. That is much sort. Merge sort is an array with n elements and this n element what happens it is first divided into two halves so n becomes n by two and further it is being divided into another two halves n by two is divided into two so n by four so the smallest unit is being given that is n is equal to one so till n is equal to one it is being divided 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 further and afterwards what happens, it is going to be combined. So normally we have the merge algorithm to just compare with two small units and combine with each other. That is, which is the smallest element will be placed in the left corner and the next one to it and the largest element will be placed in the rightmost. So combining the smallest unit then the next smaller and everything together, one half solution will be got and here a solution will be got and finally on the whole all the solutions are being combined together as the bigger solution. So the first array which was unsorted will be sorted in the later stage. So here the time complexity when we have this division happens here so it is of log n factor. Okay so here the division takes place. But now here we have this comparison going on with n number. So we have it as n log n for the time complexity. Whereas space, how much ever is the input, it is going to be stored somewhere. So it is of order big O of n. Now quick sort. Quick sort is another method. We have an array. So here how the division happens, the first element in this array is going to be taken as the third element. And now comparison goes on from this end and this end from the left and the right. All the elements here are lesser than the pivot element where here it is more than the pivot element. So at one point all the elements on the left are lesser and all the elements on the right are more than the pivot element. And this is going to be the replacement factor. This pivot element will go and sit in that position. So what happens again? This uh, unsorted list which are going to be of value lesser than the pivot element is going to assign the first element as a pivot again and here again the sorting goes about as less and uh, um, a greater value and then replace. So that's how the smallest unit also is being compared and here this side also it continues with. So it is going to be a comparison which is going to happen one half, 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 half and everything and it's going to sort and get. So here it is going to be of order n square since all the elements are going to be compared and you are going to do it and you are going to get the solution. But what happens to the space complexity? It was only n number of elements which are there and they are all going to sit in one particular place. 
So we have it as big O of L. Okay. So now let us look into what is this matrix. Oh, sorry. Multiplication of large integers. Large integers we might be having like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It just goes above into another 8, 9, 1, 7, 6, 5, 4, blah, blah. Something is there. Okay. So now when we have to do it. How do we normally do the multiplication factor is we have to multiply this with this, this with this and we just go, it takes a very very long time. Okay, so now uh, it might be of order n square. So now what happens here is we are going to divide this factor into smaller groups and still further and we will be just putting it in order 10. So combining these order 10s will be adding products and we will just go about by doing simple addition and multiplication and we will be getting the answer. So a normal way it is going to be n square since we put it in order of 10 and we do the multiplication it is going to be of order n to the power 1.585. So all the elements are to be seated so we have it as big O of n as the space complexity. So this is multiplication of large integers, not the normal conventional method. It is going to be with order of 10. We are going to segregate and do the basic multiplication. Here we have the stress matrix multiplication. So matrix multiplication, we have to get the solution as a product of two um, equal multiplication sets. Okay, so here how we go about this person strain sets has give, I have given some formula as such. Substituting the same, we will be having the values um, for this particular bigger set. In brute force method, we have it of order n to the power um, 3. That is n cube will be the uh, normal way of doing this matrix multiplication because we have to have this um, uh, multiplication which is been taking place in two matrices. Okay, so here according to this particular strain sense, substituting the values and man uh, manually doing it or like computing it, we have it as n to the power 2.807. It has subsequently reduced. And we have another method where it has been like uh, n to the power 2.358. Okay, so here uh, strain sense has uh, really reduced it a little bit when compared to n cube. Okay, so the spaces, all the elements have to be uh, seated. All the n elements which are there have to be seated. So it is of order big O of n. So closest pair, we have lots of points here. And we have to find out which two points are close to each other. So how do we carry on with this using this divide and conquer method is we find the midpoint and we just divide the um, set into two different halves containing um, equal number of uh, dots on both the sides and we just try to find out the distance between them and we just go about by computing it and we just uh, calculate based on the distance how far they are and just group which are the two different points which are closely to each other. So here it is a division of two elements that is two sets are happening and here after the division takes place it has going to be um, uh, like uh, with all the n elements which are going to be compared with. So we have it as n log n. Okay so here it is nothing but division taking place and comparison of the distance and that is how we have. Since all the points are to be recorded, the space complexity is big O of n. So all these factors are being obtained like log 2 to the power 7 or something like this. Um, um, this is how we just go about by getting the values. Sorry. Okay, this is okay. So this is how we just compute the value and get along with it. Okay. So this is an overview about divide and conquer method and here we have the different algorithms which are being specified in our syllabus and these are the different time complexities and the space complexities which are being given and um, this is how we go about it. 
Okay, hope you have understood the different time complexities and the uh, space complexities under the method divide and conquer. So, happy learning. All the best for your focus.